All right, guys, pop quiz. What's this? I mean, you can already tell, right? It's a Raspberry Pi 3. Well, we've done a few videos with this, and uh, today we're going to trick out this Raspberry Pi 3, thanks to our friends at 52Pi. They sent me a couple things here that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. First up is a screen. This is a 5-inch HDMI LCD capacitive screen, 800 by 480 dots resolution, 60 frames per second, multi-touch, driver-free. That's the key right there, boys and girls. No drivers necessary. Now, there is one adjustment that you need to make with this screen, and it was the same with the other screen. You need to add these few lines to your config.txt to take full advantage of the screen, but once you do that, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let me get the box out of the way. And here's the screen. Very nice. Heavy duty. Again, 5 inch, 800 by 480 capacitive touch. Up to 10 multi touch points. All you need to do to power it and to run the touch screen is plug that little guy into there. And plug that in like that. Now, we put our HDMI's in. <laughs> Boy, I'm just hitting everything this morning. Get this all straightened out here. And the last thing we need is some power. And watch this. She's coming to life. I'll bring you back when it loads. All right, we are all loaded up. It's just running noobs, nothing special. And watch this. Boom. 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 Touchscreen interface, no drivers necessary. What you've got here is a perfectly portable Pi system. Look at that, alliteration. Perfectly portable Pi. Except, of course, for you know, the uh, pesky power cord. But I mean, there we go. Everything is absolutely beautiful and working just fine. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys know. I'm just kidding. Why would I stop there? It's just showing you a pie with another screen. What I've got now is what's extra special. And this box is the star of the show. What we've got here is a five port USB hub for the Pi. Very nice, right? Pi supply and USB hub. Okay, so ready? Here we go. Boom. It comes with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Now we can be totally portable. Let me show you. You see your pie mounts right on top of this bad boy. I'll get it all hooked up for us. All 
All right, so we take our bolted together unit there. This first hub right here is our power out. And it goes in. And then we can plug in our screen. Plug in our USB adapter for the screen and our HDMI. And turn it on. And she's a bootin'. Just take a second here and we're at the desktop. And I can pick this up, move it around, and you can see here there is nothing else connected. We've got Wi Fi, we've got our system. Everything is beautiful. So, the way it's laid out with the one brick on top of the other works great. A little unwieldy, maybe, but you could easily put these down side by side and uh, 3D print an enclosure or something for it. You know, no problem at all. And you got yourself a portable Pi system that you could run RetroPie on, or even basically have yourself a little game system, whatever you want. I don't know how this game works, so there we go. Anyway, I will link to this down below. Again, this is from our friends at 52pi.com. I'd like to thank them for sending this for our consideration. And I'd like to thank you guys for spending some time with us and checking it all out. That's it. I'm out. Peace.